night, loved ones reeling with grief after gun violence claims the life of a six-year-old girl in D.C. Good evening, I'm Drew Wilder. The shooting death of Nia Courtney was bad enough, but Nia's grandmother tells News 4's Darcy Spencer why the family is dealing with even more pain tonight. She didn't deserve that. No one deserved that, especially a child. The grandmother of six-year-old Nia Courtney says she not only lost her granddaughter, her daughter, Nia's mom, was also wounded in that drive-by chef surgery Sunday after being shot in the stomach. Even though I try to stay strong, I know I'm going to have my moments. Andrea Courtney says she has not yet told her daughter that Naya didn't survive the shooting. She says they were getting ready to board a bus to go home just after by and someone fired several shots. Six people were struck. She prays those involved will turn themselves in. When they close their eyes, see her. When they go to sleep, see her. When they wake up in the morning, I hope her face is there to taunt them. Courtney says she's thankful for the officers who rushed to the scene and drove Naya to the hospital. She says her daughter called her after they'd been shot, and she heard police talking to Naya. Telling her to stay with them, keep your eyes open, so I know they attempted to do all that they can do. Courtney says Naya was a happy little girl who loved to dance and was looking forward to starting first grade in the fall. Our families is broken, and we would never be the same again. There is a growing memorial here near the shooting scene with balloons, flowers, and stuffed animals, all in remembrance of little Naya. There is a $60,000 reward being offered for information in the case. The cycle of violence and those with the closest proximity to the violence. D.C. Police Chief Robert Conti is still figuring out how to end the ongoing violence in the city. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Leslie Foster. And I'm Lorenzo Paul. One of the saddest outcomes we've seen of this violence so far is the death of six-year-old Naya Courtney. Chief Conti announced a suspect is behind bars right now. Police arrested 22-year-old Mark Twan Hargraves in connection. But our Scott Broom learned this shooting is part of a wider web of crimes. Here on the corner where six-year-old Naya Courtney was shot and killed on July 16th, news of an arrest in the case caused one woman I saw to dance. I can't give it aid. I swear to aid. Others put it into words. Our children deserve justice. We deserve to be safe. We don't deserve to be uncomfortable because I don't even bring my kids outside anymore because of that. So they need to get people like this off the street on a regular basis because people need to feel be able to feel comfortable. He's a monster. That we've got our man. D.C. Police Chief Robert Conti said the suspect is 22-year-old Mark Twan Hargraves of Waldorf, Maryland, who Conti said was found and arrested in a southeast D.C. apartment. Police say Hargraves was caught on video firing out of a silver sedan that pulled up on the corner at MLK and Malcolm X Southeast July 16th firing into a group of people. Naya's mother was wounded along with three others. We have recovered a total of 13 firearms. Conti also announced a sweeping indictment of 13 individuals police say are linked to ongoing violence in the area, one of whom was a shooting victim himself on the same corner the day before Naya's death. Conti had a warning to one fugitive still at large. We got your guns. We got your drugs. We've taken your cars, we've got your friends, now we're coming for you. And everybody seems to come over here taking pictures every day. Back on the corner, shopkeeper Ephraim Kasaya reflected on the mural of Naya that now watches over the place where she died. Man, you know what's so crazy? This story happened July 16th. July 16th. Today's day is what? July 28th. Twelve days, and you will forget about this story. I damn near forgot about this story right here. A six-year-old girl got killed because some young black man
made some decisions, right? Made some decisions that he probably regretted. Probably regrets right now since he has been caught. So this beautiful young girl, right? Didn't deserve to die. Had her whole life ahead of her, right? But because this young man made a terrible decision, she, she's gone. What would you call it? Mistake, terrible decision? I, I, I don't know what you call it. The reason I'm doing this story is I did a story on the killing or the shooting that was in Memphis. Young man, same age as this guy right here, pulled out a gun and mistakenly shot his mother. While kids was around. Think about that. Think about that. He pulled out a gun. Because he was beefing with somebody. This is, this is Memphis. Because he was beefing with somebody. Pulled out his gun. Mistakenly shot his mother. Somebody in critical condition. Now that young man life is. Is over because he's charged with attempted murder. 21. 21. And during that video. I, I went off as a stupid, stupid decision, right? So, yeah, this is the video I did uh, the other day, man. Shooting at a child birthday party at Incredible Pizza in Memphis. Go, go check it out. But the guy who did the shooting was 21 years old. 21 years old. Still a baby himself, right? Still young. Has not matured yet. So, we have Naya, who is six, dead. The Memphis shooter, 21, in jail, just gone. And this young, this Mark Twain, 22. Life just gone, man. Ain't no way they gonna let this guy out. Ain't no way, which is, it, it's a shame that so many young black males do not see a way out. This is frustrating, man. All they see is the gang, 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 gang. It's crazy. So we have people like a son Camo out there that promotes this gang life, right? And this, and this is this this is the the young guys listen to uh, shit like that. Will not listen to anybody positive man. Will not listen to a positive message. Do this here. What what is what is this? Be there for your family. Man, I'm trying to provide for my family. Providing the wrong way. Man, this is a sad story, man. Life's just gone, man. Lies just gone. It is, it's crazy, man. Six years old. Can't even live her fucking life, man. Because some... If you're not upset or pissed off about this, you you are not... Uh, you're not hearing me, man. What can be done? What can be done to help the black community, man? Cause it seems like this only happens in the black community, urban neighborhoods. So the guy that killed Naya, 22 man, and the 
And they say he's no stranger to the criminal justice system. And this is, man, this is a sad story, man.